Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gids. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. So today I am doing a video of a fragrance which I have here which I am completely in love with. It's one that I've wanted for such a long time and I didn't initially like this at first sniff, I'm going to be honest, and I'll explain why. But I've got a massive haul of fragrances coming up as well, so stay tuned for that. They're all sort of coming at different times because I bought them from different retailers. Yes, I did go a little bit crazy during this whole Black Friday promotion and got a lot of fragrances that I've wanted for some time because some of them were so heavily discounted, I was like, I have to get them. Anyway, we're going to be talking about this fragrance here. It's from the House of Chanel. But first of all, if you have just stumbled across my channel randomly, I'd love it if you'd consider subscribing. I make videos about fragrances, fashion, luxury, and I also do vlogs as well. So I hope you stick around for that. Now, I wanted to talk about this fragrance separately. As I said, I did want to do like a massive haul of everything I got, but I felt like this fragrance is so beautiful, it deserves its own review. Now, let me just show you the fragrance in question. It is this from the House of Chanel. It is called Coromandel. You can see it there. Now, Coromandel is a very, very, very popular fragrance. This is from the Chanel Les Exclusive line of fragrances. So the Les Exclusives is kind of like the more exclusive range of fragrances that Chanel have in their collection. Um, this was released in 2016 by Jack Polge, which is their in-house perfumer. So he makes all of their fragrances. <sighs> all right, you can tell I love this fragrance already. I have been wearing it quite a lot and I've got a lot of positive things to say about this beauty. I know it's really, really loved by so many people, but let's first of all get into the notes of this fragrance and I'll talk more about it. So the notes of Coromandel, uh, we have in the top, we've got bitter orange, we've got citrus um, and neroli. And um, the middle notes, we've got patchouli, oris root, rose, jasmine. And in the base, we've got the white chocolate, benzoin, labnum, incense, amber, woody notes and musk. Um, so I'm assuming the woody notes are probably like a, a sandalwood because it is quite warm, smooth and has that really kind of velvety, creamy vibe that sandalwood is very, very known for. Now, let's do another spritz on my skin. I actually am wearing this. This is my scent of the day. So let's just do... As you can see, it comes out really nicely as well, like it sprays beautifully. Okay, so this on my skin, first of all, I get the lovely um, neroli and bitter orange coming through. At the same time with Coromandel, you get a blast of patchouli. And I know everyone feels very differently about patchouli. The thing about patchouli for me is if it's blended really, really well, I love it. Now, I don't have a problem with patchouli. I think like Portrait of a Lady is one of my favorite um, fragrances that has a lot of patchouli in it. It's predominantly a rose patchouli fragrance for me. Um, and this one is done really, really well. Now, initially I did not like this fragrance because I felt the patchouli was very, very prominent, very, very strong. But what's really nice about it is as it kind of warms up and dries down and you get a little bit of the florals, you get the rose and the jasmine in the mid, you then get those lovely, you get the white chocolate, you get the amber, you get the musk and the labnum, and it just really warms into this very warm, smooth, creamy, woody, beautiful creation. In one word, I definitely would describe Coromandel as classy. It's an incredible, classy, elegant fragrance. I think, if I'm honest, I'm going to be real, a few years ago, I don't think I was ready to wear this fragrance. I think I almost felt like it was a bit too mature, I felt like the patchouli was a bit too pronounced, and I just felt like it wasn't my style. Now, there is some sweetness in the fragrance as well, so if you're thinking, oh, that doesn't really sound like my thing, there is a bit of sweetness balanced in the fragrance. It is a unisex fragrance. Um, the Chanel Les Exclusive line, they don't really say this is for men or for women, they just kind of let people um, go with what they like. A lot of the fragrances are predominantly very floral in the Les Exclusive line. Um, woody and floral, I would say, is kind of the keynotes in a lot of their fragrances in the Les Exclusives. But with Coromandel, you also have the beautiful white chocolate, which really kind of makes it really sweet and warm. Um, and this, I think, is their actual best-selling um, fragrance from the Les Exclusives. So for good reason, too. Now, let's talk about things like projection, longevity and sillage. Now, this has great sillage. So whenever I spray this fragrance, and I walk out of the room and I come back, even if it's in like 30 minutes 
or an hour later, I can still smell the fragrance and people will smell this on you. So it does perform really, really well. It projects beautifully as you walk around. Um, on me, it lasts a good eight, eight, eight-ish hours, I would say it lasts. So I think that is quite a good amount of time. On clothing, it could probably last until the next day because it is quite a good performing fragrance. It's an Eau de Parfum. And I just really love this fragrance. As I said, it's very, very elegant. It's very classy and it's very, very sophisticated. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and I love the fact that the Les Exclusive line of fragrances all are kind of homage to, pay homage to the life of Gabrielle Coco Chanel. So this one in particular, um, Chanel was enamored by these Coromandel screens with really beautiful, intricate designs. And they named it after that. She was obsessed with these Coromandel screens, which um, were a beautiful, like Chinese, um, had like these beautiful, like Chinese designs um, on these beautiful screens and very intricate designs. And she loved them and she had them all around her Parisian apartment. I believe that was 31 Rue Cambon. Um, so yeah, just a bit of trivia about the name of the fragrance. I know there's a lot of other fragrances which are named um, after things, you know, in her life, like Sycamore is tribute to the trees that she grew up seeing. Um, Boy is named after her first love, Boy Capel. Um, Missia was her friend. And just, they all have these really nice um, tributes to Chanel as the founder of the house. And I really like that as well. I know not everyone really cares about stuff like that, but I always like to learn about, you know, the side, things like that, like the history and all those nice little stories. Um, I love this fragrance. If you are thinking about buying it, like I was on the fence with this for so long, I would say go for it. It's an absolutely beautiful, stunning perfume. I just love it. I think on my skin, I love how when it first opens, I get those really nice um, citrusy orangey notes with the patchouli. That's the first thing I get. And then you get the sweetness coming through as it dries down more and more. And it's just, it's just a lovely journey that this fragrance takes. So for me, this is a fragrance which I would wear a bit more dressed up um, when I'm more put together. It's more for me, a bit more of an occasion kind of fragrance. I would wear this to work, um, but I think it's such an elegant fragrance that you will want to be a bit more dressed up and put together if you're gonna wear this. It is just really, really classy and it just exudes so much elegance as well. That's a great way to describe this as incredibly elegant. I think in cooler weather as well would be the best time to wear Coromandel just because it's got so much warmth in the fragrance. I think all those warm notes like the white chocolate, the patchouli, the amber, the alabnum, those will really, really come to life in the cold as opposed to in warmer weather. Um, I love it. I really like Coromandel. I think it's definitely worthy of the hype. It gets a lot of hype here on YouTube. A lot of people have it and for good reason. It's a great, great fragrance. So. So yeah, I am looking forward to adding more Les Exclusives to my collection. I've got my eye on Boy, which I think is really, really nice. I wanna try Beige, and there's a new one that's coming out next year as well. It's a, at the moment, it's only been released in the Middle East. It's called Le Lion, and that's supposed to be a really beautiful, smoky kind of, kind of in the vein of Coromandel. So I'm really looking forward to trying that one as well, but yeah. Have any of you guys tried this fragrance? Do let me know. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give my thumbs up to Coromandel from Chanel, which I think is such a stunning fragrance. And I'm gonna say it, it's a masterpiece. I know a lot of people are like, here we go. Everyone throws the word masterpiece around to describe so many fragrances, but I do genuinely think Coromandel is a masterpiece. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed my review of Coromandel. Um, leave your comments below if you've tried it. Do you want to try it? Do you own this fragrance? Do let me know. Um, I am thinking when I finish this fragrance, I'm probably going to get the bigger size of 200 mil because I love it that much. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel as well. I'd really appreciate that. But I will see you in my next video. Take care, guys, and see you all soon. Bye.